In this video, we are going to look at how to solve problems involving multiplying brackets. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to deal with problems involving the multiplication of brackets easily. So, ensure you stick to the very end of this video because I'm going to give you guys a practice question at the end of the video to test your knowledge on this topic. Okay, having done this, let's go into the details of the video. Alright, so let's begin with problems involving single brackets. Okay, so let's say you're giving what a in bracket you have three b okay minus two c. I have to simplify this expression now. This algebraic expression to so solve this, this thing we result to four a times three b give us twelve a b. All right, four a times minus 2c will give us minus 8ac. Okay, so that will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Now, single brackets are usually easy. They are easier than double brackets. Okay, now let's look at one more example before we go to double brackets, the ones you will mostly see in your mass. Okay, so let's say I give you another example. We have something like minus 4 and bracket 3p square. Okay. We have minus seven a cube. All right, and we are uh, asked to simplify this expression. So this will give us minus four times three p square will give us minus twelve p square. Okay, minus four times minus seven a cube. Minus times minus will give us plus. So this will give us plus twenty eight. All right, a cube. Okay, so that will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Okay, now let's wipe this and look at how to deal with problems involving double brackets, which is the kind of problems you see here. All right, so let's wipe this. Okay, now for double brackets, now let's begin with this problem, this example. Let's say we are giving 2p, okay, minus 4. Those brackets, and we have 3p plus 1. Now, how do you simplify this? Now, note, pay attention, guys, very important. If you are dealing with double brackets, now, look at the easiest routes or easiest way to go about it. Firstly, this 2p in this bracket at the left that's this bracket here this two p here we firstly multiply everything here all right before this value here this number term we multiply everything here as well so basically this is how you express it this will be firstly two p multiply everything in this bracket so it will be three p plus one all right then this negative four multiply everything in this bracket as well so you have 3p plus 1 okay so when you simplify this you're going to have 2p times 3p will give us 6p square all right so this is 6 6p square 2p times 1 will give us 2p that's plus 2p minus now minus 4 times 3p will give us minus 12p okay now we have minus 4 times minus Minus 4 times 1, that's plus 1, give us minus 4. Now, negative times positive, give us negative. All right, so that's basically what we are doing. So, when you simplify this, you're going to have, you collect like times now. All right, so when you simplify, you're going to have 6p square. All right, plus 2 minus 12, will give us minus 10p. Okay, now we have minus 4. Uh, this will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. This is a quadratic expression. We still get to how to deal with problems involving quadratic equation. So this will be the answer to this question. Okay, so let's try this. I'll look at another example. Okay, now, what if we are giving something like this? If we are giving this guy in bracket 3x plus 5 square. And we are asked to simplify this algebraic expression. Now, note that this expression is the same thing as 3x 
plus 5. All right, in bracket 3x plus 5. All right, now don't go and do it this way. Let's say you begin to take this power and put it and allow everything in this bracket to possess this power. For instance, if you go and do it like this, 3 square x square plus 5 square p, which is 9x square plus 25. Okay, so that if you do it this way, you are wrong, right? If you do it this way, you are totally wrong. Okay, so that's not the way you are ought to do it. Okay, this is absolutely wrong. Right now, when you are dealing with algebraic expressions, now and you have positive or negative side inside, don't do it like this. All right, this is very, very wrong. This is the correct way to do it in algebra. All right, it's only when there is no positive or negative sign in brackets that you can distribute the powers. All right, but when there is a positive or negative sign inside the bracket, don't do it this way. This will be wrong. This is the right way to do it. Having known this, let's go ahead and expand this expression. So when you expand this expression as usual, this one inside, first of all, times everything here. Then this number time also times everything here. So when you do it, you're going to have 3x in brackets, 3x plus 5. Okay, we have plus 5 in bracket, 3x plus 5. So when it's going to be 5, what they're going to have 3x times 3x give us 9x square. Okay, then plus 3x times 5 will give us 15x. Then plus 5 times 3x give us plus 15x. Then plus 5 times 5 will give us plus 25. So when it's going to be 5 this further, they're going to have 9x square. 15x plus 15x give us 30x plus 30x plus 25. All right, guys, so this will be the solution to this problem. All right, so it is as simple as that. Let's wipe this now and look at how to deal with problems involving triple bracket because these are the kind of problems we see here because they are usually tricky. All right, so to give you the one that will look tricky, they know that students will easily fair if you're not careful. Okay, but we're going to learn them the method to be about it easily. Just like we have learned about this double bracket. So let's write this now that how to deal with problems involving triple brackets. Let's write this. Okay, now for triple brackets, let's say we are given this algebraic expression. We have x plus 2, and uh, we have x plus 3, and uh, we also have 2x minus 1. I'll be asked to simplify this algebraic expression. All right, now note that whenever you continue with triple brackets for algebraic expression, your results will usually be a cubic equation. Okay, whereas when you are dealing with double brackets, your your result will usually be a quadratic expression. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this slide together. Very very simple. Now, firstly, you deal with double bracket first. So simplify. The double bracket first. So when you simplify double bracket first, this will give us as usual this x will times everything here before this number time also times everything here. So when you do it, you're going to have x in bracket x plus three. All right, this is plus all right. We have plus two in bracket x plus three. So when you simplify this guy, you're going to have x times x give us x square plus three x. All right. Then 2 times x will give us plus 2x plus 6. So when it's the 5 further, we're going to have x square plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so this is basically what you are going to arrive at. So when you arrive at this, you can now multiply this quadratic expression with this guy, this linear expression. All right, so we have x square plus 5x plus 6. All right, so this will times multiply 2x minus 1. 
All right, so this linear expression here. So this is basically the next approach to follow. So once you have done this, the next thing will be to begin to multiply everything. So firstly, these two x we multiply everything here before this negative one term. Here we multiply everything here as well. So let's do it, guys. Very, very simple. So let's begin with two x. This is going to give us two x in bracket x square plus five x plus six. All right, the one negative one in bracket x square plus five x plus six. Okay, so when you simplify, we're going to have two x times x square give us two x cube. Two x times five x will give us plus ten x square. All right, two x times six will give us plus twelve x minus one times x square will give us minus x. Square so minus one times five x give us minus five x minus one times six give us minus six. All right, so let's wipe up and complete this solution. Okay, so when you simplify for that, you're going to have for like that, you need to have two x cube. Okay, now plus ten x square plus even if you like that, you need to have plus ten x square all right minus x square okay then we have plus 12 x minus 5 x minus 6 all right we have dealt with collection of like terms in our previous video but collecting like that simply means breaking together the terms that look alike so having collected like the next thing would be to break it down for them so our final results for this quadratic expression will be 2x cube all right 10x square minus x square give us plus 9x square 12x minus 5x will give us plus okay 7x this is plus not okay then minus 6 all right guys so this will be the final answer to this question all right so this will be the algebraic expression of what we have here look at the question x is the question x plus two okay we have in bracket x plus three okay and we have in bracket two x minus one okay so this is the outcome or result of Simplify this algebraic expression we have here. All right, guys. So it's as easy as that. This is basically how you can do with problems involving triple brackets in algebra when you are simplifying them. Okay. Now, before we call this a class, let me give you a fact expression. We are going to attempt, and after we can call it a class, let's wipe this. Okay. Now, let's say you are giving this in your mass exam. You are giving this problem 2p minus 3. In brackets or square. So how do you solve this problem? Now quickly quick, pause this video and see if we can attempt it. But we we'll solve it together here. Okay. So to begin with, this thing is same thing as two p minus three. Okay. In bracket two p minus three. All right. So when it's be five, but they're going to have firstly this two p here. We multiply everything here before the minus three we multiply everything here as well. So let's do that. This will be same thing as 2p in bracket 2p minus 3 and we have minus 3 in bracket 2p minus 3 so when it's the right for the going to have 2p times 2p give us 4p square by 2p minus 3 will give us minus 6p minus 3 times 2p will give us minus 6p minus 3 times minus 3 will give us plus 9 so when it's the right for the going to have 4p square, right, minus 6p minus 6p give us minus 12p plus 9. All right, so this will basically be our answer to this question. So guys, this is basically how you can deal with problems involving seven bracket, double brackets, and triple brackets, how you can simplify them here. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to our channel, make sure you check the description of this video below now for link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join our Telegram channel for instant notification. Also ensure you are subscribed to this channel by hitting, by hitting the subscribe button. More videos like this 
So like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel about what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific question regarding this topic, feel free to leave or drop your question at the comment section below. And I'll be sure to give you a response. All right, so that's it for this class, guys. Check the end screen and both click on it, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.